Hey everyone, I am refilming the tutorial that I did the other day, except I'm doing a blue this time, as you can see. Um, I had a song on the last one that was copywritten and I was not able to actually have the voiceover on there. So I know a lot of people watched it, which is really cool that they still watched it without the voice. Um, but I wanted to recreate it with you know, me telling you what to do. I didn't add my foundation part in there. I didn't add any of that. I really just did the eyeshadow, eyeliner, eyebrows, um, and lips, and, you know, a little bit of, like, the highlighting, just a tiny bit. Um, I didn't do much. I really just wanted to show you the eyeshadow part because you guys have seen me do my foundation a million times already. Well, not really, two times, but still, I, you don't need to see it again. Uh, you can watch the long tutorial if you really want to see how I do it. Um, I really hope that you guys like this look. It kind of reminds me of like a mermaid, so I think I'm going to call it the mermaid blue. Um, there is a little gold because I, like I said, I'm obsessed with gold lately. I don't know why, but I'm just like, ah, gold, gold, gold. Um, I know I looked crazy right there, sorry. So I hope everybody loves it. I hope you like this tutorial. It's going to be a lot shorter than all the others. I hope that you can kind of learn something. And thank you all for watching. Thank you for all my new subscribers. I know I don't have that many. I have like, I don't even think I've hit 30 yet. But even just like the amount that I've gotten and I really like don't have that many videos is really nice and it makes me feel really good. I know that um, I can... Sorry, I got cut off because my camera's getting too hot so I gotta make this quick. Um... Thank you, all, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching all my videos. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your comments. I got a comment from somebody who has a lot of subscribers. So I was super excited about that. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure that you subscribe. Give a thumbs up if you like it. Please don't give me a thumbs down because I'll be really upset and I might cry. Just kidding, I wouldn't cry. Um, but I hope you like it. Thank you for everything. And I really enjoy doing this. I really like doing the make makeup tutorials but I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that I'm, I'm going to kind of switch in between you know the two things I've been doing kind of talking and then the makeup tutorials um so you know it'll be different every time thank you guys very much don't forget to subscribe okay and I will have this video up tonight and I hope everybody enjoys it and this time you'll get to actually hear me talk and hear the steps that I'm going through instead of a blank video it really sucked that that happened. I'm so upset about it because it took me so long to edit that. You have no idea. And then that happened and I wanted to cry. So thank you very much. Bye, guys. All right. No, seriously. Bye. All right. So, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do your foundation. I already contoured and highlighted for the most part. Um, I always do a little bit of finishing stuff at the end, but for the most part, I got it all done. I've had this terrible pimple, and it's irritating the crap out of me because I cannot get it to go away. So, please excuse that. It's so annoying. Um, first, I'm going to use the Milani. It's a, let's see if you can see it. Milani, and it is the Bella Chiffon, and we're doing eyeshadow. Um, I'm going to show you how to do eyebrows too. You're going to take a good amount of that and you're going to really just put it all around your eye to kind of use it as a base. Now, I already primed my eyes with the NYC eye primer um, and as well as a little bit of my foundation. I'm going to do one eye on camera and one eye off mm. because I'm just trying to save time and that way you guys can see the look and you won't be watching for too long. My son is in here, so excuse any noises that you hear. If you hear a little guy, that's my son. He wanted to do makeup, but I told him only for Halloween. Today's not Halloween, baby. All right, so first you're going to want to do that just kind of as a base color to keep it, you know, um, nice and light. And after that, you're going to want to do kind of like a... I would say light brown to dark brown. I'm gonna do a blue smoky eye, so I'm gonna use darker brown. Um, I'm going to go to my L'Oreal palette. 
this is actually one of my favorite palettes it's only like eleven dollars which is really surprising um and maybelline has palettes now and they work really well i'm really impressed by them um i'm not the kind of person to spend a lot of money on makeup but i'm really impressed so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna use this darker brown here and I'm gonna take that with a blending brush and I'm really gonna go, I'll start with my red eye and then I'll do the other one off camera. I'm really gonna go and just rub that in really well. And you really just wanna kinda make sure that it's at the bottom down here and on your crease, a little above your crease, that's fine. Um, I will show you also, I have a little scar there so just don't worry about that. Um, I'm also going to show you how to do eyeliner as well. I know a lot of you actually, I was surprised there was no words in my other video and a lot of you watched it. I was very, very surprised because you couldn't hear anything at all. There was nothing. It was just blank just watching me speed up doing my makeup. So you're going to kind of want it about that dark. You could go a little darker if you want, um, really just as your preference. I'm going to be adding black, so I don't want to do too much brown, especially because I'm doing blue. I did green last time, and I thought it would be cool to do blue this time. Um, so I'm going to do that first. Then I'm going to use the same brush, which is just an e.l.f. blending brush. Uh, they're like, I think, $2. And I have my Nifty palette that you saw in the last one with my 256 shadows. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a dark blue that I really like. Let's say, let's go with this dark one here. Now this one is shimmery, but that's okay. Um, shimmery can be pretty also. Make sure you blow a little bit on your um, brushes. That way it doesn't get all over your face. And with this, you're going to kind of do the same thing that you just did. Because this is going to be like your base blue color you can even kind of go like to the inner eye a little bit and it's gonna be a lot lighter obviously because you're not blending it in as much there hold on one second all right so once you have that kind of blended in I am going to put a little bit of black and I'm going to use my Naked palette, it's just the basic palette. And I'm just going to use a crease brush and I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of black, make sure you guys can see me, in the corners here, kind of in like a triangle shape I guess you could say, you know like here, here and it kind of makes a little triangle. You don't want to do too, too much because then it's going to cover up all that blue, but I would say do a nice... I'm gonna use this kind of curved brush just because I feel like it's easier to get in the corners. And I'm going to do a little bit of a lighter blue. We're going to use, let's see, let's do a light blue like this here. If you guys can see that, I know it's kind of hard to see on the camera. And you're just gonna take some of that. Again, blow your brush off or tap it on your thing, whatever works better and go right inside here. And I'm going to do a little tiny bit of a light, light, light blue like this here instead of white. Normally a lot of people do white, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a tiny, like light, light blue. And that, I'm gonna just kind of do a little bit 
here like right in the corner like right right in the corner and you might need a lot of that because of the darker colors so I'm just gonna do a really good amount right there and then a little kind of under my eye and I can see that my concealer is a little messed up right there so you can see how it kind of goes underneath um, I'm gonna go back to my Milani the white the kind of cream colored one if I can get it open which I never can Sting. Um, and you can really just use any brush for this part it's really just gonna kind of I'm gonna go to my crease brush and just kind of go like this you know under your eyebrows to kind of like outline where your eyebrows are gonna be I'm gonna do my eyebrows in just a second so you can see so yeah. let me pause it for just one sec be right back all right I know my eyeshadow looks a little crazy right now but once I do my eyebrows and do the underneath it won't look that crazy um, for my eyebrows I got this nifty little kit it's from Milani as well it's really cheap I think it was like $3.99 I always do my makeup on a budget it looks like this I use the color I think it's just brown or brunette a little bottle the brush you can see it's like a curved brush and then it has a little like comb there so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for this so you guys can actually see this is the thing that I've been talking about forever that I'm in love with because I don't really can't do my eyebrows like everybody else and make them look all cute because I get this weird like cut in one of my eyebrows for some reason I think I'm back to that Milani color and we're really gonna just go up right here and you can just kind of pat it because you really want it to define like your brow line once I'm done with this part you'll see that you can really 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 see the brow line see how it really kind of outlines it and then you can just take your blending brush and just kind of blend that downward a little bit. And I'm actually going to do just a tiny bit more black because this isn't really as dark as I want it. And I'm just going to use my blending brush. Just put a tiny little bit like that. Can you guys see me? Okay. And now I have that really pretty like midnight blue that I wanted. So anyways, as you can see, I don't have mascara on, so that's why it looks funny. I don't have my eyelashes on. Um, I'm gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna do the other eye, the other eyebrow, then I'm gonna do eyeliner, then lashes, okay? See you soon. Okay, so now we have the eyeshadow and eyebrows done. Um, 
last thing you just want to do is take your blender brush and just kind of you know just really blend it in real good because like i said you don't really want those lines so just kind of real quick just do a quick little here make sure that it's not too harsh anywhere um what i suggest if you're going to wear eyeliner is to take like a makeup wipe or even a baby wipe if you have kids and just go just make it even this one's actually pretty even already this one's not that even but just make it kind of even with your eyebrow so that way when you do your eyeliner you don't have like all this makeup you know all like outside here um this side is pretty good but we'll just do a little just in case then after I do the eyeliner, I'll show you how to fix that like so that it ma meets your eyeliner. Um, the eyeliner that I use, I have two of them. In the other video, I explained this, but I'll explain it again. Um, the first one is by Estee Lauder. This is my favorite one. I'm going to show you why in one second as soon as I find my other one. Okay, or real quick what is, I do... I take my MAC Studio Fix and a foundation brush and just really fast I just do like put a little bit there just to kind of you know make it match the rest of your face this is the MAC Studio Fix so foundation and I just put a little tiny 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 bit and then I just buff it out with the so for eyeliner. This is the way that I like to do it. Um, everybody else is different, but this is the way that I do it. I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see. Hopefully you'll be able to see me. Let me see if I bend down. Okay. So this is the way that I do it is I start with my Estee Lauder um, I mean sorry the other one I use is L'Oreal and it's the voluminous superstar I start with that one because it's not as dark and I start right here in the corner and just kind of go across make sure that it meets your eyelashes because there's nothing worse than seeing somebody with eyeliner that doesn't like match their lashes it's seriously so bad you guys see? Yes, you can. Okay. And I'm going to get there. Just pretty much to the end of my eye. And then I'm going to take the thicker side. And basically I'm going to go up towards my eyebrow. And then I'm going to go back to the thinner side. And I'm going to do kind of like a triangle, I guess, is the shape. And then make sure your point is very sharp. That's really important. And then once you have it like all connected, I go back in with the thicker side and I just fill it in. Sometimes if it looks a little like it's not dark enough, I'll just kind of, you know, spruce it up a little. So you can see I have it. Do not pump your mascara. You know when you put it in and you go like this? Do not do that. It will give you clumps. And if you're wondering why your mascara is always clumpy, that's why. Um, not a good idea. So don't try that at home. Or just don't do it. Because it will make it very, very 
clumpy and who wants clumpy mascara? I know I don't, and I'm pretty sure that you don't either. Okay, again, I'm gonna do one on camera, one off camera. I use the Kiss Black Lash Adhesive. Um, and what I do is I just take like the little plastic thing and I actually put the glue on there and apply it onto my lashes with it's a, lot a less Q -tip. messy and it's a lot easier. I don't like doing it the other way. It's just a pain. It's just too much. And then I'll show you the mascara for it. And I will show you my bronzing and my blush and then my lips and then we are all done okay all right so I have both falsies on now I'm going to use Revlon's dramatic definition and I'm just going to do a really light layer just to help them now let me show you well first um real quick before I do my bronzer um and stuff what I do is this I got for like 99 cents at Sally's and it's just like the champagne pop that everybody uses um, I make sure that I wipe off my blending brush this is what I use for it and I'm gonna go like this I'm gonna take some I'm gonna put some underneath my eyes like this and kind of rub it down to where my contour is not like don't do like you know don't go crazy like you're doing a ton of eyeshadow but just kind of a little bit just for the lighting and a tiny bit down your nose not much then you're gonna do it at the tip of your nose honestly makeup is all about lighting I actually went to cosmetology school um, I went to Aveda put a little bit over your lips I went to Aveda which is like one of the best schools um, and makeup is really all about lighting especially for photos that's why you have highlighting and contouring is mainly you know for if you're going to be doing a lot of photos um i usually put some inside my inner eye but i already put a little bit of that white one so i'm not going to put too much inside there um and then what i use is this is also from elf i love elf products because they're so cheap and they work really well um this is just a bronzer and it's warm tan number 2402 I don't know if that's the number like of the one I bought or what um, I'm just gonna take a little bit because this is this kind of dark I'm gonna go to my Tarte palette this is my favorite palette so thank you Elise for buying this for me for Christmas or my birthday because I love it it's my favorite I'm gonna use the blush that's in there and No, it says Amelia Night Cosmetics. I'm not really sure where that's even from, but I got this little thing for Christmas and it just had like a bunch of different eyeshadows. This though helps blend in all the colors. So I take this last and just kind of put it all over my face, kind of as if it is like a setting powder. Um, and it works really well. It is one of my favorite products besides the other ones that I told you, which I think there's blue on my nose. So I might have to redo that. Um, it just really helps blend. And I'd really just kind of get like under my neck too. Let me go back to this. You can also use your finger for um, the champagne color. You don't have to use a brush. I think I had a little bit of blue on it, so let's hope not. Hope you guys can't tell. Can you guys tell? I can. I can't tell. Just cover that up for a second. Don't mind me. Oh, I'm not trying to flip you guys off. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's not my intention. And then, let's do lips. 
Um, I obviously I'll do my lips on here. I'm not gonna like pause in between because that'd be kind of weird. Um, I think with this we should do kind of a nude pinkish color. So let's see. All right. So as you guys know, I do put foundation on my lips just because it helps the lipstick stick a little better, and I really just like it a lot. Um, I don't know. It's just one of my things that I do. Um, it helps even out the tones, and I already have kind of colored lips, so it really helps. So you're going to, first you want to outline your lips. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can always go back and fix it. So if it's not 100% straight, you can fix it up with some uh, foundation. I do not do the whole like Kylie Jenner where it's like super big. I just naturally have somewhat big lips. Um, so if any of you are ever thinking that like I do that like weird plumping thing that people do or whatever it's called, I do not. So I'm going to do that and then I am actually going to use, this is by Wet n Wild. Oh, by the way, that was... A Milani number five and then I'm gonna use a wet and wild uh, lipstick it is dark pink frost this is one of my favorites I love wet and wild lipsticks and I'm just gonna go over Now, any part that you mess up, you can just take a Q-tip. Really, you don't even have to use foundation, and you can just kind of go like that. It actually wasn't that bad today, surprisingly. Normally, my lipstick's like all over the place. Add a tiny little tiny bit of gold because I am obsessed with gold lately like seriously obsessed I don't know why and I'm just gonna use this brush it doesn't even have a name and I'm just gonna add a little bit of gold um, a tiny 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 bit just to like kind of middle I hope you guys can see that yeah just to like the middle of my eye and a little to the a corner because that would just give it a little bit more of like a shine some more definition I guess and then I'll put just a little tiny bit underneath here and then a little tiny tiny bit inside here All right, here's your finished look. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to do the little, you know, thing that girls do with their videos, how they make those like. I'm going to do that. So, be right back. Oh, by the way, I hope you like my mom bun and my silver hair. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I hope you enjoyed it.